All right, everybody, welcome. My name is Chris Palmer. I'm a flight instructor in Alaska. And I'm set up at uh, Soldovia Airport today for a short field takeoff. We are going to demonstrate this airport at the, or this procedure at this short field that has a lot of trees around it. So it's also a confined uh, airport, which is quite important to differentiate because wind can really interact with the trees. It can change your performance quite a bit on the aircraft during phases of flight that are pretty dangerous. In other words, you want to keep your performance during the time when you're lifting off and climbing out, right? Well, you need to plan for that stuff at a confined airport, know how the wind is moving. So this takes a bit of experience to do, but once you do it, you understand, you know, not to get too freaked out by the trees that are coming up and just fly the airplane, be really patient with it, come up with a good plan, and that's gonna be what we're doing today. So we're gonna be doing a short field takeoff. I just did a soft field takeoff. We are going to uh, do that technique of climbing out at VX. That isn't what I usually do. You can see what I usually do in the soft field takeoff. And then on this one, I'll come around and I'll do, instead of uh, dog leg final on, uh, uh, through town, I'm going to slip it in to a landing on the short field, OK? So we'll stay high over the trees and slip it down over the trees to land on the runway. So that'll be our plan next. As long as the clouds will let me do that, that is the plan. So doing our short field takeoff here and let's get after it. So Lovia traffic, Skyhawk, 2423 in a form, taking 34, close traffic, so Lovia. All right, don't see anyone that direction. Now I don't want to pick up a lot of rocks here, so I'm gonna be careful about how long I leave this power in when I power it up and hold the brakes, okay? I might even let it just slip a little bit so I don't pick up so many rocks. That can ding your propeller and and uh, be pretty expensive, especially on a higher powered engine, okay? So rolling around here, gonna hold the brakes a little bit, powered up, okay, letting it slip myself, and engine screen, I'm going. And I already don't have as much speed as I did on the soft build. Not pulling that nose wheel off, I'm just getting up to 60. And there she goes. I'm going to climb out at VX. Okay, now I don't have a lot of energy left in the airplane. It's a really calm wind day today, but I don't have a lot of energy left. So if I was to get a wind gust right now or something that decreased my performance, I could sink right into those trees. So that's why I tend to like to take a little bit more energy into the climb especially below the trees going above the trees to kind of zoom up over the trees. That's how I've done it. That uh, seems to work fine for me. And we cleared the trees just fine there, okay? So both techniques do work. The advantage of doing the VX as you're climbing out is that you're not covering ground as fast, okay? Remember that VX is your best climb over distance. And so that, that distance that we have to climb, that's better. Now, the reason I do some kind of that zoom technique is because of wind shear above the trees. And, uh, and that's how it works, okay? So we're gonna stay in the pattern here. We're gonna come around and we're gonna do that short build landing at this airport. And uh, I'm gonna slip it down over the trees, kind of setting up on a straight end final rather than the dog leg final like I did before. So this is a practical way of clearing that 50 foot obstacle, right? coming down into the airport, clearing that 50 foot obstacle to land, and you'll see what that does to landing distance, if anything. So lovely traffic, two, three and a form, just turning from uh, crosswind to uh, downwind, runway three, four, Solovia. All right guys, so that is it. Hope you're enjoying the scenery. Hope you're enjoying that drone footage. I can't wait to look at it myself and add it into this video. Subscribe, like, share, be part of the community, comment. I love to hear from you guys. Love to hear how you're enjoying this content. And, uh, and we'll definitely be there to talk to you, okay? So that is it for this video. Until next time, throttle on. Fly on over to aviatortraining.com for online ground school, podcasts, videos, and more to become or grow as an aviator.